The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. City Chamber of Commerce. That's all. That's all? Yes, that's all. <laughs> well, Mr. Cheever will verify that. I promise not to say a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Mrs. Carmichael, uh, this young lady... Nanette. <laughs> well, she happened to be seated next to me at this dinner dance, you see. Uh, we dined together, but there were 14 other people at the table. 14. Uh, and then we did dance together once. Once. And being a gentleman, I offered to take her home, and I, I had my cab drop her at her apartment, then take me to my hotel, and... That was all. <laughs> well, Mr. Mooney, why are you giving me this big explanation? I'm not your wife. Well, I know, but in case my wife does hear about it, I want to have one good rehearsal under my belt. <laughs> well, I would certainly believe you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mooney? Yeah? Telegram for you, sir. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, 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 uh. Oh, no! <laughs> Beat that. Arriving airport, 12 noon, will come directly to bank. Love, Nanette. <laughs> Love, Nanette? Oh, uh, well, what I didn't tell you, Mrs. Carmichael, is that the young lady seemed to be infatuated with me. Oh, 
Uh, oh, well, not that I gave her any reason to assume such a relationship. Oh, no, no, it's just that she happens to be a, a romanticist at heart, and she's extremely, oh, oh imaginative. <laughs> <laughs> but what you just told me sounded so platonic. Oh, it was, it was. As far as I was concerned, it was, yes. But you see, after the dinner dance, she insisted on showing me the, the cultural aspects of the city, see? Oh. Did you know that Atlantic City has a world-famous museum? No. Well, it has. <laughs> anyway, it was closed. <laughs> so, uh, so we went to a discotheque. Hey, this is building. You and your date went swinging at a discotheque, huh? Well, I, I, I must say that we, we did make quite an impression on those kids. You did? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think they'd ever seen a waltz before. <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you go any other place? Uh, oh, yes, yes. We went to a, a pizza parlor. A pizza parlor. Yeah. And then I dropped her off at her apartment, and that, that was it. Mm. Well, it seems to me that an innocent evening like that would not encourage a girl to fall in love with you. No. <laughs> uh, well, uh, perhaps, perhaps I did uh, commit one slight indiscretion. What was that? Yeah, uh, <laughs> when, the, when the cab pulled up at her apartment house, I, I, I did let her kiss me good night. You let her kiss you? Uh, well, well, I had to. She wouldn't get out of the cab. Oh, I was under terrific pressure. Pressure? Yes. Yes, the meter was running. Oh, oh I tell you, she must have kissed me at least 40 cents worth. Wow! Well, she ought to be here pretty soon. I just can't wait to see what she looks like. There'll be no seeing what she looks like. Oh, no, now, Mrs. Mr. Carmichael, Moody. you take your lunch break right well, now. Well, I'm not going to go on to lunch second today. Thought, I have a lunch. On second thought, take the rest of the day off. I don't want to. Now, you do that, Mrs. Carmichael. I have to get these reports over to Mr. Cheever. And when I get back, I want you to be gone. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good, good. Thank you. been a slight misunderstanding here. Oh, we, we, we'd we better have a talk. Oh, oh me. Who wants you to sit down? I... No, not here! Oh, no, not here. Oh, please. 
Now, <coughs> Nana, I, uh, I'm uh, very concerned about this infatuation. Infatuation? Uh, you, uh, uh, the, the, the fact that you seem to be in love with me. Oh, but that isn't important, Teddy baby. Oh, oh, it isn't? No, the important thing is that you're in love with me. I am? <laughs> has a way of knowing things like that, like, like that time in the pizza party. <laughs> you were so romantic. Romantic? I was very reserved. As a matter of fact, I distinctly recall ordering separate checks. <laughs> That's what I love about you, Ted. You don't try to obligate a girl. No. no. Well, <clears throat> no. Uh, no. Uh, Nanette, you seem to be reading meanings into things that simply don't exist. Oh, but Teddy, baby, remember our little talk on a boardwalk? A man has to really care about a girl to discuss things that are so, oh, intimate and personal. Well, 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 what did I say that was intimate? Well, for one thing, you said your wife didn't understand you. <laughs> You call that intimate? I tell everybody my wife doesn't understand me. I even tell my wife she doesn't understand me. Maybe your wife will understand me. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Well, when a man is in love with somebody else, his wife should be the first to know. Oh, well, I'm not in love with anybody. You're going to discuss this with my wife! This is bigger than both of us. So is my wife bigger than both of us. <laughs> Yours seems to me like it's a one-sided marriage. Marriage is supposed to be a two-way street. Well, mine happens to be a freeway with no off-ramp. <laughs> now, look, Nanette. I'm trying to tell you that I'm not in love with you. Oh, you're not trying to tell me, Tessie baby. You're trying to tell yourself. I know you'll never forget that magic moment in Atlantic City. <laughs> what magic moment? In the taxi cab when you kissed me. Oh, no, no, you, you kissed me. Oh, all I know is when I was in your arms, your heart was pounding like a drum. Well, of course it was pounding. The meter was still running. <laughs> oh, Nanette, now, please, Nanette, just, let's, let's try to be sensible. Please, Nanette, just, now, look, and will you watch those hands? Oh, now, Nanette, just don't do something that's going to cause a lot of people unhappiness. Excuse me, just a moment. Don't leave me. Don't, don't, no, you wait right there. I'll be right back. Don't leave me. Right back. Right back. you to get lost. You ought to be glad I was here. At least you have one witness that knows that you were a perfect gentleman. What good is a witness if she goes and talks to my wife? You now, it's a good thing Mrs. Mooney's out of town. She's out of town today, but she'll be back tomorrow. And I am in big trouble, and I am perfectly innocent. Oh, why? Why was I born with this irresistible charm? <laughs> Well, I haven't got the answer to that. <laughs> but I have got an idea. What? Now, listen. Yeah? As long as this poor soul insists on making a soap opera out of this, maybe I could be your wife. 
You could what? I could be your wife. And then, then you let her go over to your house, and I'll say I'm Mrs. Mooney, and I'll get rid of her. Say, that might be the answer. Now, look, you didn't tell her what Mrs. Mooney looks like, did you? Yes, yes. But fortunately, nobody ever believes me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when she was sweet 16. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's here. She's All here. Right, she's here. Listen, just remember, before you make your entrance, give me plenty of time to convince her what a miserable rat you are. <laughs> now, go ahead, Mr. Mooney. Well, all right. Oh, wait a minute. What, what, what? I can't call you Mr. Mooney. What does your wife call you? You can't call me that, either. <laughs> Morning. You are? Yep. Have been for 30 years, seven months, three weeks, two days, four hours, and 27 glorious minutes. Well, my name is Nanette Johnson. And, and you I came to see me by my husband. How did you know? Oh, well, it's the same old story. Another convention, Atlantic City. That's where I met him. On the boardwalk? No, under the boardwalk. <laughs> oh, boy, the price I pay for being married to a man as attractive as my Theodore. <laughs> After every convention, there's always another poor butterfly like you flitting around. But Mrs. Mooney, now, please understand. I am not a designing woman. I didn't intend to fall in love with your husband. It just all started out so innocently. Yeah, it always does. I first realized that I cared for Teddy when I was in his arms and we were dancing. He waltzes divinely. Yeah, he waltzes no matter what the band is playing. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I keep forgetting about my injury. I'm just recovering from a broken collarbone. But how did it happen? Oh, uh, one morning his coffee was cold. You mean he beats you? Oh, no, just gives me a little karate chop now and then. <laughs> but I just can't believe that my, my Tedsy baby could do anything violent. Was, was it in the heat of an argument? Oh, no. Theodore's too much of a gentleman to argue in front of the children. <laughs> he, uh, he waits till they're not looking, and then pow! <laughs> did, did you say children? Oh, didn't he mention the children? No. How can you forget 12 kids? <laughs> well... Yeah. Well, Mrs. Mooney, if he's such a monster, why don't you leave him? Oh, that would be the coward's way out. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to a girl like you. I don't think you could take a karate chop. <laughs> well, that must be Tedsy, baby, chopping at the door now. <laughs> Look, if you don't believe me, why don't you hide behind that curtain and see what life with Tedsy Baby is really like? <laughs> when a woman loves a man, she doesn't spy on him. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Come on. <laughs> Get in there and hide. Hide. What took you so long to answer the door? I'm sorry, dear. Oh, stop whimpering. <laughs> oh, dear, I'll get you your pipe and slippers. And stop nagging. Let me help you. Oh, and will you stop getting your paws all over me? Theodore, <laughs> you've got jelly on your brand new shirt. That's lipstick. Oh, how careless of me. It's not yours. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. If it was mine, I'd never forgive myself. 
If it was yours, I'd never forgive myself. Oh, Lord, you're so masterful. You give me goosebumps. It'd look better on a goose. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Theodore, you remembered my birthday. I did not. No? This is a little gift I brought home for Duke. Are you a dog? Yes, vitamin-packed dog biscuits. Huh. Where is my doggy? Well, I dropped him off at the vet to be shampooed and trimmed, and he'll be ready tomorrow. What? How could you? You know I hate to come home to an empty house. Well, I was hoping you might like to be alone with me on my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you have to be so irritable? Because after a hard day's work, I like to see my dog. <laughs> you know how I like to work out with Duke before dinner. Well, I'll work out with you. All right. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Heel! <laughs> There we are. There, that, that's a good, good, steady, steady, do, steady, steady. All right, now we're going to shake hands. Give me a paw, come on. Give me a paw, give me a paw, give me a paw, do. Very good, dog, very good. That's very good. Oh, that was very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, do, do. Now, speak. Speak! Hello. Speak, dog! Good, 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 Duke. That was very good. You are very... Oh, really? Lie down, Duke. Lie down. Lie down. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Stay, stay, Duke, stay. Stay. Now. Oh, I knew this was you. I knew. All right, all right. Now pay attention, pay attention, Duke. Duke, Duke, Duke. Watch, watch, watch the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball, Duke. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Hold, hold it now, Duke. Hold it. That's good. I'm going to give you a little reward. Ow, ow, so, all right. Ow, now, 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 get ow, ow, all right, Duke. All right. Now. All right. Now, hold your head up. You know how we do this now, Duke. There we are. There. City, city. <laughs> now, eat it. <laughs> eat the biscuit. Yes, you have to eat it. Of course you have to eat it. Now, Duke, you know very well you have to eat it. Well, it's hard. I'll break all my teeth. I don't care about that. Your teeth are... Ah! You just eat it. Ah! Eat it. Come on. Eat that. Ah! <laughs> wasn't part of our act. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Chief. Yeah. But I got you out of the jam. Yeah, you got me out of that one and into another one. What do you mean? How, uh, how am I going to explain those teeth marks <laughs> to Irma? Well, tell her your dog did it. Oh, what? 
We don't have a dog. <laughs> No, she wouldn't believe that in a million years. No. <laughs>